Hey guys, it's Alice from TechAirs.com, and I am back once again with an unboxing and a look at the ProClip phone mount. Uh, now, these are phone mounts that are custom made for your vehicle, um, and this one is made for my wife's vehicle, which is a Kia Sedona. So you have to order these um, online. Uh, at ProClipUSA.com and uh, these guys are made in Sweden and they it look like they're really nice mounts. It's the first time I've used them. I've never owned one of these before. It's all, I've always gotten mounts from different companies like Skosh and other places like that that are kind of like window mounts. This one actually is made to integrate into your uh, vehicle. So it's a it's a nicer solution for um, for those who want a more uh, aesthetic. You know, it's not just sticking it on the on the dashboard or sticking it on the window. This one actually will go into the trim of your car. And uh, once I get these unboxed, we'll go out to the go out to my wife's van, and uh, and I'll video that portion of it, and we'll see how this thing actually all goes together. Uh, well, there's two parts to this. There's the actual uh, Pro Clip center mount, and that's what this is here. And this one's made for the Kia Sedona. And this is the adjustable holder for small to medium cases. So we'll unbox these. We'll un unpack these real quick and uh, see what um, they look like out of the bag. All right. Got a couple videos this week, more, more than usual. So it's kind of nice. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and and uh, hopefully they're informative enough to you and hopefully helpful to you. And I will continue to make them and do the best I can and start looking for looking to make a different area around here where I can uh, film these things a little bit better. So. But right now, this is what we have. So this is what, this is how we're working it. And so far, it's been working out pretty well. I think. I think anyway. All right. So here's your bracket. This is. Um, let me move this out of the way. And this is made of plastic. It's not metal. It looks like metal, but it's not. And it has the uh, Pro Clip brand branding right there. Pro Clip USA. And it has. Uh, part number on the back and that's about it and what this is going to do is this is going to go on the dashboard of, of the car uh, and it's going to go between the trim so this is the actual mount that's going to hold this um, so this will go on the uh, it kind of clips I don't know if you can see this or not I'm going to put it like this and I'm doing this now because I don't want to do this in the car when I'm installing it so this way you can see what it is so this little area here slips underneath the trim and it kind of snaps in place. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. Uh, let's see if I can get a better shot. Let's go that way. There he goes. There's that one right there. And there is that one right there. And it's pretty. It's a pretty simple little device there. Plastic, and that's it. He comes with instruction manuals here. And this is the phone mount. This is what holds your phone. And this is, you know, it looks exactly like a, a normal phone holder, right? It's not any different than uh, your basic phone holder. It looks like there might be some screws here that we might have to take off. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure this has to be adjustable. So um, we'll figure that out. We'll look We'll look through the instructions, but I just want to show it to you. Pro Clip branding here. And uh, this is all plastic. Everything's plastic, but it's it's very nice, durable plastic. And then this will get mounted onto this via, it looks like some screws here, which are included. And we'll put that together later. And uh, yeah, that'll go on like this. And then that'll go right on the dashboard like this. And then you can um, mount your phone on there and not have to worry about it being uh, on a mount on the window or on the dashboard with the little suction cup thing. Sometimes they fall off in very hot weather. Uh, so this is this is one you don't have to worry about it falling off. Um, 
looks like probably yeah we'll figure we'll figure all this out once we look at the instructions but you know how we are well, we don't look at no stinking instructions we just fiddle around until we figure it out right so that right there are the parts that you will need uh, for a, at least a Sedona and it's going to be very similar um, for all other brands too this is not exclusive to the Sedona you're going to get similar stuff uh, and um, you'll be able to do that sort of thing with with it uh, alternatively you if you know because we'll, we'll use this in my wife's van and uh, we have Apple CarPlay in in her van but uh, it's wired it's not wireless so we have to have a you know we have to have the uh, USB-C cable going to her phone but if you had wireless Apple CarPlay and you needed um, the option of mag safe charging you could get something like the Skosh magic mount and use that instead of this so you would use this and use that ball end and put it in here and that would mount in there and then you would just mount your phone right on there so there's options for you uh, you could you know buy this and and um, and then uh, obviously you're gonna need this because this has this has the plate and I'm not sure if they sell this separately I'm sure that they do if you go on their site I'm sure you can look to see if they sell this separately that way you can just mount the magic mount or any other MagSafe accessory onto this uh, you remove the actual phone holder and put it on there and you're and you're ready steady go so that is an option let's quick take a look at their website and um, kind of see what these guys are about and then we're gonna run out to the car and we're going to install this and I'll film that and uh, I'll do a voiceover on that because uh, I want to get good sound and um, and then that'll be it that'll be the end of the video but yeah so you come in here and you go into uh, ProClipUSA.com and um, custom fit mounts for the exact year making model of your car so you just go in and choose what car you have and you know what let's say you have a um, Honda say you have a Honda I don't know let's go with a Civic Type R and say you got the latest nah, so we'll go with 24 2024 see so matching mounting base all right so here's what they, they suggest and it's 39.99 hit view details so here's your mounting your mount for it uh, that would be equivalent to the mount that I showed you and let me uh, pop over here real quick and we'll show you that that mount is equivalent to what this is it's just a lot smaller and different sized and it's sized for your vehicle so that's the idea you'll you'll end up getting a mount and then um, you'll go in and look for um, the other accessories that you need so no more rattling it says snaps tightly onto your car's dashboard rock solid perfect placement always in reach and no more obstructed views time to ditch your flimsy vent mounts yes I don't like vent mounts I don't know about you I don't like vent mounts and suction cup phone mounts you deserve better make that great to phone mount that, that's built for your car uh, the one thing about this one here is that I'm not gonna say worries me uh, the one thing that that um, bothers me is that uh, you're gonna at least in the, in the van I already know that the the one of the vents is going to be kind of uh, um, obstructed so that is something to take into consideration so um, I'm not sure how my wife's going to feel about it, so we'll find out eventually. But, um, but yeah, that's one thing to take into consideration for sure is that this will block the vent as you put it up there. Uh, it won't block airflow completely. It'll just block it somewhat, so I don't know exactly how that's going to work. But, hey, let's go find out. Let's go put this guy in, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, before I go and install this, I wanted to really quick show you a couple things that I didn't show you initially in uh, the first part of the video and that is the installation of the bracket here so as you can see uh, this is a ball mount on the back of this and that center screw right there right in the center you want to loosen that until you can pull pull it off this mounting bracket right here and then what you're gonna do is they give you four screws 
and then you're just going to install those screws right there boom 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 those four screws right on there and then you're going to take this and mount it in your vehicle and they suggest that you do not put this back on until you have don't put the phone holder on until you have the um, bracket installed in the vehicle so uh, I just wanted to do that before I got into the vehicle to show you the installation process in the car uh, I just thought it'd be easier to show you this here and I'm gonna go in a little closer so as you can see right there there's a center screw and that's what that center I don't know if you can see the screw in there but there's a center screw in there Phillips head and just loosen that and then pull this right off of that ball mount here and then that allows you to mount this mount it right onto the actual bracket so uh, and then these two make sure these other two screws that are right at the top and the bottom of that center screw uh, make sure you do not take these out uh, these are to tighten the phone holder itself uh, so that's how you spread out earlier in the video I was talking about how do we spread that out to fit the phones so um, you'll need to make sure that you loosen those just ever so slightly and then these two wings spread out and then you can slide your phone in and then you kind of adjust it to the size of the phone and then you take the phone out and then you tighten them back up and then that tightens everything all together the only downside to this that I see is that this is only going to be good for one device uh, unless your device unless you have two devices that are using the same um, case uh, in this case in this instance uh, my wife's phone has a different case than mine does mine's a lot thinner so it does not fit into this predetermined size so that is going to be something to consider if you're used to um, these uh, kind of spring-loaded mount mechanisms this is not like that this is all uh, screwed down so you will not be able to adjust this on the fly unless you have a screwdriver handy and you're willing to do that so you need to take that into consideration to me I would consider that a, a, a con um, I'm gonna have to say that I don't like that all that much doesn't affect me all that much because I don't drive my wife's car all that often so um, when I do use my phone in there I can just put it in the center console and I'm fine with that but um, yeah so that's that's the assembly portion of this uh, setup and I, I'm, I'm doing this handheld because um, I, I, I wanted it and I thought about it and I was like I better get this uh, on video for you guys because it's worth explaining anyway so uh, let's head into the car and check it out all right guys here we are inside of the vehicle and here is the um, the mount and we're gonna put that right in here on the dashboard and sorry about the lighting it is nighttime here and I probably should have done this during the day but just want to get it out of the way and I'll also put in the official uh, pro clip um, mounting um, video in this video as well so you guys get a better shot but I just want to show you what I did and how I mounted it this little cutout cut out here is for push button start um, I don't have a push button on this it's just key so uh, I don't have to worry about that um, you can mount it anywhere in here but if you want to keep that that vent clear you want to mount it as close over here to the to the left as possible so what you do is you hold it in place and then you you situate it so that this bottom area is between the soft part and the hard uh, portion of the dash and then you're supposed to push in with your thumb until you hear a click so that's one and then you do the same thing up at the top just push and it clicks in and it's all mounted in there and the next thing you got to do and the last thing you got to do is put in the the actual um, phone holder so that again is going to be this guy here and you're going to use a screwdriver to go right in there and tighten it down so we're just going to position it then find that screw and then we're going to tighten that guy down and then we're going to push it in because I believe it's a ball there we are that's good and then we're just going to tighten this down 
and then position it how you want. You can swivel it however you want, up or down. Just make sure that this screw is tight, not over tight, but snug. And I believe we're good. And then you can test your phone to see if it'll fit. And in this case, I have my wife's phone here. We're using that as a light, but we're going to take this and turn that off and we'll slide it right in like so. And you see it works. Boom. And that's how you put the Pro Clip in. I will make sure to uh, put the official video in this video so that you guys check that out. But uh, yep. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the um, notification bell. And we will talk to you on the other side. All right, today we are in a new Kia Sedona. We'll be illustrating how to attach Pro Clip item number 855123, found at ProClipUSA.com. A couple things we want to mention before we get started. Read over the instructions, look over the photos before beginning. Next is always attach the Pro Clip onto the vehicle prior to attaching anything onto the, uh, the faceplate of the mount. With that said, we'll get started. This Pro Clip has an upper and a lower edge. Uh, if you can uh, read the ProClipUSA.com sticker, that'll say that this is the, up, uh, the top side and bottom side. On each the top and bottom side there is a grooved edge and uh, those grooved edges will go into seams and behind and hook behind the panel basically around the frame and the uh, information screen area. So the lower angled edge of the uh, pro clip or grooved edge will go into the seam right between the soft part of the the dash and the uh, the frame around the the vents and the upper grooved edge will go in again there's a seam between the padded part of the dash and the frame around the vent on the upper upper side. If you will align the Pro Clip up with the start button just to the right of the start button, that way it keeps your vent clear if you uh, want to use the air conditioning there. But if you line it up with the two seams, uh, basically you take your thumb or, or, or finger and you press this angled or this grooved edge uh, into that seam and it'll hook in behind. You'll hear it click into place behind the panel. You do that on the bottom side do it on the top side and you'll have a nice solid mounting platform for a pro clip device holder to attach to. We hope this illustration helps. Have a great day.